Hello, my amazing artists. So today, we are going to practice perspective, uh, one-point perspective, uh, which is what we already did with the aquarium piece a few weeks ago. So we're practicing perspective with letters. So you could do it with your name, um, with art, with summer, with something you want, whatever word you want. Um, this is an example I did. I did art. And um, so one point perspective allows the letters to look like they're popping off of the screen. So this I did with crayon and Sharpie um, and watercolor. So you can use those. You can also use markers, color pencils, whatever you have, you can use. If you just have a pencil, it will still work. Um, and then I decorated the background uh, with some pretty flower designs. So to get started, your first step is to write your letters in bubble letters. If you don't know how to have them in bubble letters, all you have to do is write it regularly. And you go around each letter, almost like the letters are um, like skeletons. and we're going around them and putting like clothes on them. That's what it seems like to me. So you have the choice to leave the lines in or erase them. After you have your letters drawn, in bubble letters. If you already know how to do bubble letters, you definitely don't have to write them first and then go around them. That's just a little trick to make it easier. Okay, so one point perspective is called one point perspective because we have one point, one dot. And we are going to take that one dot and with each corner of each letter, it's going to go back to the dot. So let's start with the I. So we want to make sure our line is on the corner and on the dot. And we're going to do that for each corner. I have a lot of corners, but just wait. So right here, I am jumping over the heart to go back down. So if one of your letter lines is going through a letter, jump over it and keep going. So there is our eye, and it looks like it is jumping out. So you're going to keep going and do this for all of your letters, and eventually it will look like this. So your next step is if you have a sharpie you can go back over your lines with a sharpie you can use the ruler to help you make it straight this really helps your letters pop And you're going to do that for the rest of your letters. After that, you can color it in. You can decorate it however you wish. Um, have fun with this. Take your time. Make the background something unique. You definitely don't have to do what I'm doing. You could make it a bunch of snack foods. You could make it rainbows and um, a character you like or Pokemon you like. Whatever you want to put in the background, you can do. Okay, have fun.